day 146 of losing 100 pounds in six months, and after yesterday, I'm absolutely destroyed. My, my body hurts everywhere, and it's just time to take a break. But I don't actually like taking full breaks from the gym because it's, to me, it's, just, it's the act of physically coming to the gym that helps motivate me. A little bit of conditioning with some uh, backwards leg drives, and then after that, I'm just gonna do some forearm pumps until I can't feel my fingers anymore. That's not enough for exaggeration because I have a bit of nerve damage in both my forearms. So just by getting a lot of, enough blood in there to really get them pumped up, I literally lose feeling on my fingers. That's when I know my workout's done. <laughs> I personally absolutely love doing backwards sled drives because it helps with my knee pain. You get like the craziest pump and warm up just around this area, which is where all my problems are. So it's fantastic. So I'll do this for about 10 minutes and then we'll start doing some farms. So I'll generally put my knee sleeves on at first just to help my knees get all warmed up. So we'll be doing this for about 10, 20 minutes. And then I'll put my soft belt on so that this doesn't pull on my back as hard. It distributes the force over my belt instead. Your 400 pounds hurts after a while, you know? So this is just a little way to mitigate that. I see you rest there perfectly. All right, it's gonna put on a timer for 10 minutes and we'll see how I feel after that. And this also does act as a two for one because it does count as a cardio if I do it for 20 to 30 minutes. This isn't really the type of stuff you would find at a normal gym, but it's literally just a PVC pipe, a rope, and a weight that comes up. And I absolutely love this for the forearms because all you do is you find an anchor place for your forearms and without spitting too much, you just roll it up and down and you get the nastiest pump right there. It is disgusting and that's what we're gonna do right now. If you do have one of these, you really want to avoid sort of like spinning the whole bar because then you'll start using your shoulders and other stuff. So going a little bit wider maybe and then just very, very little motions. Now your forearms are full of these tiny, a lot of tiny little muscles and tendons for your fingers right to work. So you don't need a whole lot to get them a crazy pump. I'm probably gonna be at the gym today for like 30 minutes only doing this and then I'll be good to go because I'm gonna, I won't be feeling my fingers pretty soon, most likely. Set number two, I'm already pumped. <laughs> All it took is one and I am already pumped to shit. A lot of people that'll do this with like weights that are way too heavy, it'll actually be to their detriment a lot of the time because they'll be using other muscles than just their forearms. You wanna go really small and just as five pounds is burning already halfway up. This is insane. Mm. Oh, that's it. I, I'm not gonna help you. It's gonna just sit on your chest for at least eight seconds before I come help eight you. Seconds. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I got it. Good. Come on. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Holy fuck, that was too easy. <laughs> All right, so next one's gonna be the exact same thing, the exact same movement, except you're gonna flip your arms from this to that while spinning it upwards, and you're gonna get the nastiest pump right here. Oh, this hurts. Come on, no, that's it. That's all we got for now. Now, if the bars you're working with have like super crazy knurling like this one, and it's actually ripping my skin just from doing this exercise, you can just use a yoga mat on this and just roll it around. Oh yeah, that's much better. It doesn't feel like it's ripping my hand, my arms anymore. Uh. Nice. Oh my god, damn. Jocelyn, I have new veins. <laughs> PR number two, brains. This should move fucking easy. Our last one just went. It should be fine. Come on. <laughs> what the fuck? The <laughs> 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 half plates are not affected that much. These motherfuckers are going to have plates in the gym, okay? <laughs> I'm only saving you if it's on your chest. Oh yeah, like it'll grind. Yeah. Come on. Oh, 
Good, good, good. Oh yeah, you got it. Oh, my back <laughs> So another movement that can work is just to get into a hammer position with a rope, and then same kind of concept, except you just, you let it dip down on your wrist, try to keep that 90 degree angle for your arms as much as you can, and then you just squeeze up nice and slow. I like staying away from dumbbells usually because I feel like on dumbbells, you don't keep the same tension the entire entire time. Versus with the rope, you really do, and it's very nice. I'm a bitch. Oh, oh. Oh. Am I cramping in my forearm right now? I wonder if you can see the veins on the, in the camera. Oh. How's that? That's good. I don't think I would ever go to a gym where you can ask a random person to do this, you know what I mean? Ah! At a commercial gym, if you ask like, hey, how many sets do you have left? They get it's angry. Like, yeah. I, I, I never got that. Like, I'm just trying to figure out to plan my workout around you. <laughs> like, When people ask me that, like on the rare occasion that I'm at a commercial gym, oh, yeah. it'll be like bench and I'm like, yeah, I have seven sets left. And they're like, what the fuck is wrong with <laughs> what you? What do you mean seven <laughs> sets? <laughs> Instead of go lateral raises, oh my do god! Is that good? Oh, it's amazing! <laughs> Shit! I've been doing this every day now. <laughs> I like from pretty much here to there now. Yeah, that part's fucked. <laughs> I'm gonna start charging people for this. You should, honestly. I'm like, you could go get a professional massage right out in the hallway, or, or you can give me five bucks five and I'll fuck <laughs> you up. <laughs> so you're the sadist, got it. <laughs> oh. Well, that'll be it for today. See you guys tomorrow.